makeshift window, but just a story experience, a scary experience rather, uh, when we talk about what was happening in Wilmington, North Carolina. And we're going to bring in meteorologist uh, Tony Shiveroli because, Tony, you can better explain kind of what took place in Wilmington. Yeah, I certainly can, Jamal. Basically what happened is these little pop-up storms really started along the North and South Carolina border, and we just continued to see that convective potential make a streamline across, really again, North and South Carolina border, making it to really the Myrtle Beach area, obviously Wilmington as well, yeah. continuing to flare up that way. That's where more of these sweet spots were, if you will, for where these storms could actually wreak their peak potential. You, my friend, were right in the thick of all that. Yeah, I had my mother praying in the hall, but you know what? She's okay. We're all okay. Everybody in the restaurant is Okay, so that's some good news here. Yeah, again, the winds are bad. Obviously, you got the lightning, the heavy rain. At least you didn't see that tennis ball size hail. Yeah, absolutely. But today, another day, which means better weather, hopefully. Yeah, just a cold morning start here. Yeah. Completely on the other end of the weather spectrum. All right, all right so as we uh, start out the day, we're going to be seeing more of these conditions as we make our settled in trend. We see more of these conditions going onward, upward. We need to do it. We're seeing a live look right now. Beautiful clear skies are eligible and tower cam by the transmitter. We are seeing actually out that way in Elgin temperatures at 38 degrees into Columbia 42 Lexington 40 Sumter down to 37. Some chills are here. Got Camden at 36. So as projected, some of you have made that fall to the 30s. Just not everyone yet. So got an Orangeburg there around 42 degrees. Winsboro a little more impressive. Got some mid 40s still out into Fairfield County. Let's go on into the tidbits. Let's see how we're going to progress through this day. We're getting on. We're past this chilly start, but you got, of course, take it seriously. If you're heading out soon, you'll be wanting to grab the coats. Some will have the gloves and hats on to begin this day, but then toss them aside. A warming trend will be staking its claim as soon as this afternoon. We get widespread blue skies and mid 70s in play. Everything out there with all the sunshine. This is all going to be something that we continue to build into the day with. It's going to be beautiful out there. You know, afternoon uh, lunchtime plans will be perfect. Low humidity, mid 70s, blue skies, not much more you could ask for. And honestly, if you're spending a lot of time outdoors today, sunblock, a, a good bit of advice there to put some of that on. Protect yourselves. We're going to actually have a high UV index today. Just weird to think about with how cold it is for the morning. As we go into Wednesday, we start out the day near 50, afternoon highs tomorrow near 80. So you'll note that a little bit of a warming trend is back. Here's a change though for you. Quick little area of clouds, weak area of moisture moves through the Midlands. There's going to be a cold front that tries to drop down from the north. Not really going to happen. It essentially works to fall apart. Doesn't really do much to us other than bring us this little stray patch of drizzle a couple little spots late into the day. That's it. Evening hours. This is our only rain chance that I've been looking at throughout the entirety of this week because high pressure fights back again. We see all this sunshine building in yet again for Thursday upper 70s to near 80 and we'll likely see that trend continue into your Friday activity. Now today we're also going to see, of course, yet again, more of the beauty and a great national holiday. Another good one. I love this one. Got National Picnic Day and how about it for a picnic this afternoon? If you have the free time, obviously a middle of a Tuesday, not too many folks have that time, but some do take advantage of the sun. Let's see those mid 70s going onward into the day. The beauty remains and we see it out into the rest of the week. The only main change where we're going to be seeing those skies getting quickly shrouded up will be some of those clouds later into Wednesday, but otherwise more sun on Thursday into Friday right into that weekend activity. We can still get a few more clouds as we start out on Saturday, but still back to low 80s. Dryness remains. We're looking fantastic for all of your outdoor plans and events, and we even see more heat and dryness right into next week.